Man, Staten Island, we back. What? Yo, Uncle Ralph out there. Yo, what's good, Uncle Ralph? What's up, Ralph? What's up, Uncle Ralph? It's your boy Flip the Narrow, you fabulous. Fat Joe to uh, UL Lee. And we live on the Hush Hip Hop Tour. You know? <laughs> Ralph McDaniels, we in Staten Island, baby. This is the most important part of the city right here. It's Shaolin, baby. Oh, you feel me? This is how we do it, man. Queens and SI and NY, man. Country celebrity Uncle Ralph, man. In this small three block radius, one of the greatest hip hop groups of all time, the Wu Tang Clan, emerged. Stapleton. Park Hill and the Wu-Tang District is fertile ground in New York City. A lot of the videos for Wu-Tang Clan were shot right here in Staten Island. This right here is called the Wu-Tang District. This is Tarji Street and uh, Park Hill. And a lot of video, I shot Cream out here as well as Can It All Be So Simple was shot right here, directed by my man Hype Williams. He was shooting for 24 hours, which he's known to do. He had a couple of hours left. He tells Raekwon and goes, come out in the street. We're gonna shoot this one scene. Raekwon throws on the jacket of all jackets, the polo, snow beast joint, and it goes crazy. That's when people realized how big Wu-Tang Clan was with fashion and style, and everybody around the world knew Shaolin was where it started. This right here, right here, is a mural dedicated to Wu-Tang Clan, so this is super important. But this is like a landmark in Staten Island. This is where everything goes down, you know. And this is Wu-Tang, this is Shaolin. This is the heart of it right here. From now south, so if you feel be stacked up, better watch him back and duck, cause these beans, they got it cracked up. Now my man from up north, now he got the law. It's solid as a- Oh, my dog, Capadano, official Wu-Tang. Hey, 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 I'm in, I'm in Staten Island. What's up, yo? I gotta get out there and hit you up real quick. Yo, I call, I call that wall right there, the wall of fame. Hey, hey, yo, Cap, tell me about how it was when you was growing up in Staten Island, man. Uh, man, growing up in Staten Island, it was like, you know, they used to call it the land of the lost. You know, it was separate from the other boroughs in New York. You had to take the ferry boat to get to Staten yeah. Island. And, yeah. um, you know, a lot of us, from, from the clan is from different parts of New York, but we yeah. all met up in Staten Island. And that's, you know, that's what give it the, the melting pot effect. You know, just the fact that it was separate from the other barrels gave us our own creativity level. Yes. We had our own slang, we had our own clothes, you know, the, our own just, just way of living. We shot um, the cream video right here in Staten Island in, in Park Hill in, in your mom's apartment. I find myself in a place where I'm last seen. My thoughts must be relaxed, be able to make Tell us about your mom, you know, because I know you lost your mom and what she meant to this community. Mama Love was, you know, one of the mothers uh, of the hood, you know, she wasn't just a mother to me, she was a mother to all young black men, you know, coming up in, in the struggle. My mother was someone that that you could come and get a bowl of oatmeal and a hot cup of hot chocolate and learn some things about life. Mama was always, you know, there to 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 rescue somebody at any given time, man. And, and she rescued us even by letting us shoot the video in the house because people got a chance to see inside of our home, to see how we really live and to see what we was really going through and what it was really like, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it was all about, man. You know, they say you can go any place in the world, but there's no place like home. Yes. Thank you, see you soon. All right, bless up, don't mess up. Yes, sir. 
dream for the team who was a fiend. Started smoking moves at 16. And running up in gates and Welcome to the notorious Stapleton Houses right here in Staten Island. This is what it's all about, man. If you look at the beginning of the cream video that I directed, if you notice the buildings right here, we shot it at night. It was like minus 14 degrees. Everybody was freezing. The wool would go up in the buildings and get lost. So they just wanted to get warm. They all were right here in this project, and this is what it was all about, man. You know, bringing it right to the community. These are the notorious Stapleton projects. It's all part of what makes up Staten Island. Shaheem is in the building. You know that, Shaheem. you know that. Hey, yo, I'm in Stapleton right now. Yeah, I know, I see the balconies behind you. You right there, you right there. You in the middle of it all right there. You on Broad Street right now. A lot of history for, for you in this area right here, man. We know, tell me about Stapleton growing up here, man. Oh man, Stapleton, Stapleton's a place like no other. As you can see in the background, it's like the balconies, right? So you can imagine being a kid with those long balconies. We did everything on the balconies. It was a time where I knew a person in each building on every floor. And you, and you know, you was, you know, lyrical genius at such a young age. Where did you get that from, man? Well, well, you right there. You right there, Uncle Robert. That's that's where I drew my inspiration from. The, them same them same buildings right there. You know what I mean? And um the people and, and, and the whole atmosphere of, of the community. How old were you when you first got your recording contract? Um I was I was I was four, thirteen years old when I when I signed my contract with uh, Virgin Records. So Okay, so you, you get a recording contract, then you start doing movies and TV stuff. Tell us about some of the stuff that you did on the screen. I was blessed with the opportunity to be in a film called In Too Deep, uh, with, with also stars LL Cool J and Omar Epps, um, original gangsters with Pam Gray, Fred Williamson, Jim Brown, Richard Roundtree. Yeah, you know, so I, I dibbled and dabbled on, on, on the screen a little bit. You just miss home so much, man. So I will yeah. always find myself back, back between those buildings, you know what I mean? We're in Staten Island and this is one of the, you know, most important boroughs to me, one of the, the greatest hip hop groups ever, of course, Wu-Tang and all the Wu-Tang affiliates and everybody that came out of this area. So we appreciate you, man. Appreciate you too, Uncle Rob. Love, love always, man. Bitch, I'm outside of some movie. Blue cheese, I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. I gotta stick to this paper like blue sleep. Bitch, I'm by my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back, she a groupie. She just swallow all my kids in a two seat. Swagged out. From the movie, bringing them gas out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back on my bullshit. Spin back with a full clip. They say I'm moving real class. And my shooters, they shooting. I won't take it, they roof press. I get the breeze, then it's adios. If I'm with your dreams. What's the deal, Goldilocks? Ain't nothing. I'm just hibernating. Love that watch. Pour me some scotch and cold I got my man, the visuals, Jonathan Mannion. What's good, baby? What's up, sir? How are you? Oh, man. Look, I'm in Staten Island, New York. Tell me your history, man, with the Wu, man. All the different videos and things that you shot with them. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with the Wu-Tang Clan, man. For sure, man. Well, really, I moved to New York in 93. So, you know, 36 Chambers dropped. November of 1993. So like that was really my like, oh, this is New York City, you know? And so yeah. that was sort of the bar of like, oh, this is incredible. And and really, if you think about Wu-Tang, man, I mean, they like changed the entirety of the game. They were not coming in sounding like, you know, anybody that had gone before. It yeah. was just like, this is us. We're gonna mob out. We're gonna take over every venue we go to. We're a business. We're gonna work on, you know, having longevity and we're gonna be here forever and they've proven that you know Wu-Tang forever so when you think about the brand and putting all of those 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 photos together and just give us an idea of some of the the uh the photos that you took man and how did you approach that man how was that was the approach to 
to this new thing. Like you said, it was something different. There was an XXL cover of all of Wu-Tang, sadly after ODB passed, um, mm. you know, where it was sort of like the Olympic international treasure cover to me. And it was everybody all together on the podium, you know, right. strength and solidarity. You know, and a celebration in a lot of ways of ODB. Hey, yo, Jonathan, we in Park Hill right now. I don't know if you could tell by the buildings. The one, the, we close to the one, one, one six zero, one eight zero, one four zero. We close. We close. We right here. I remember one night in Shaolin at like nearly three in the morning, photographing Capadonna. I had one roll of film, and he just sort of went into this swaggery, drippy, you know, yeah. kind of like walk down the street. It's the most incredible roll that I think I made at that time and it made me understand like what they had to give, you know what I mean? Yeah. The character, the depth of each of their individual sort of uh, deliveries that they gave. It's like once he did what he did for you, you know, you knew that he was made to be in front of that camera, that's for sure. Well, all of them, you know, they walked in with, with a whole different vibe than anybody. Look, this was different. This felt like, oh man, I got to know everything about this. You know, Method Man actually was one of the first photos that I ever took at the South Street Seaport. I broke into some party, not invited, but I just, you know, it was like a magnet, you know, like like a moth to a flame. I was flying in there, man, to try and get these images and, and start to show the world kind of who I was and what this meant to me, which has always meant meant the most, man, and why I love to, to hold everybody high that I've worked with. Yo, man, well, I'm glad you bum rushed the show, man. We appreciate you, bro. I'm sure some of those parties that I bum rushed were yours. Hey, look, that's, that's hip hop. You know how we do. The New York Times side, staying alive was no job. Had second hands. Mom's All right, Papa yeah, Wu, we're gonna talk yeah. about some things right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you already know. Tell them taking the history, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh man, just got a copy of Birth of a Clan, the Papa Wu story. We can't talk about Shaolin and and the Wu Tang Clan without talking about the Papa Wu story. Me and you got history together, so you know I thought it would be wise. When you was a little guy, you already know <laughs> shooting videos back in the days and the projects and all that. Yeah. But so I was shooting a um, Wu Tang commercial. Right? Okay, okay. We getting ready to move locations. Pop Wu was here. First time I meet Pop Wu. Mm -hmm. Pop Wu goes, "Oh, you the big man to me? I don't know Pop Wu." <laughs> I said, "Look, man, we just trying to shoot the video, man." Papa Wu jumps in my face. <laughs> See, I thought he gonna hit me. I said, look, you gonna hit me, just hit me. But you gotta do it first, cause I'm not gonna do it first, cause y'all not gonna just jump me. And then start but, knowledge. <laughs> for that to be said, your pops is is uh, is a, a person that would let himself be known. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. But he also was a spiritual, a very, very spiritual person. That's where y'all get this from. You know, this was my pop story. This was his life. You know what I'm saying? He put his heart and soul into this. And like I said, it's a, it's a blessing. If you want to know where it all started from, get that. And you can't say Wu-Tang without mentioning Papa Wu. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So. Big shout out to the whole Wu-Tang clan for everything that y'all did for the area, as well as what y'all did for the world. You know, this is what Staten Island is all about. <laughs>